What's happening, folks? This is Rashawn, aka Mr. Cheese with the Grits Man, and we're back. This is gaming for Grits people. So, we all know Breath of the Wild has just came out, right? Just freaking came out. I mean, not Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. Everybody's playing it. You're playing it, I'm playing it, but you know, I had to make like this vow for this game. So, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, even though Breath of the Wild has been out for what? Six years now? Six, seven years now? And I've honestly, I've just completed the story. Maybe about a week prior to Tears of the Kingdom coming out, I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get this story done. I need to see the ending, especially if Tears of the Kingdom was supposed to be a branch out, right? Or not a branch out, a continuation of Breath of the Wild. I just had to make sure I was like, okay, I need to see the ending. I need to see the ending. So finally, I decided to, to put all my side questing and shrine questing aside. I was like, let me go ahead and do this. Let me go ahead and do this. All right, before I before I continue on further than that, let me say, explain why it took me so long to do this. Maybe I'm just, a, I feel like sometimes with video games, I can be a completionist. I just love to discover everything and complete everything before I, you know, complete the story. But and the way some of these games are getting nowadays, it's like you'll have no chance of completing all the side quests unless you're like, <laughs> unless you're like a, one of those grinder type gamers that just plays games for hours on end, hours and hours and hours, which I kind of am, but these side quests and everything are getting harder, more complex, and it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing because it just makes me not necessarily put wait to play it but it just gives me more time to play the game and when Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity came out in which detailed pretty much the the prologue or you know the pre-story whatever you want to call it the backstory of, of Breath of the Wild I immediately I immediately put Breath of the Wild on hold because I was like oh yeah nope I want to do this first so and I so I ended up completing that story before completing Breath of the Wild, which I'm actually kind of glad I did in the end. Man, this entire six, seven years, I've been grinding and grinding, trying to knock out five, six here when I play, five, six there when I play. And I felt like each time I felt like, even just recently, I think I did like two or three uh, side quests recently. And I was like, I feel like I'm getting to the end of these side quests, but I also kept finding more as I kept going along. So I was like, you know what? It's been six, about six, seven years now. The newest Zelda game is about to come out. And let me just go ahead and just complete the main quest, man. Let me just go ahead and do it. Let me just stop waiting. So I decided, I just went on ahead and knocked it out and it was beautiful. Just uh, the ending was cinematic, of course. Beautiful Zelda game endings. They never disappoint, they never have disappointed. So I just went on ahead and knocked it out finally. And honestly, I'm kind of upset that I waited this long. But I'm trying to make a vow here that it won't take six, seven more years <laughs> for me to finish this next Zelda game depends on how hard these quests are but that's just that just means there's longevity longevity in these games is important it's needed it's necessary I'm just gonna do what I can you know because if the ending is anything like Breath of the Wild's ending it was magnificent it was glorious it was really freaking cool you know I don't know Maybe this time I'll do the main quest stuff. No, no, no. I never do that anyway. Let me just stop myself right there. I never do that anyway. I always, I'll do like some of the main quests and then I'll do like a bunch of side quests and then I'll do some more of the main quests and I'll do a bunch of side quests. I feel like I've just started, but this game is so magnificent already. And I'm just looking forward to exploring and seeing more. Isn't that a true testament to the game makers, to the game developers that, hey, these games are so great, it'll take me seven, eight years, six, seven, eight years to beat it. To want to beat it. Because I want to just enjoy the ride. I want to just ride that wave for as long as I can. 
Isn't that a true testament to the game? What do you guys think? I plan to spend as many hours as I can. <laughs> many hours as I can between this and other games like Hogwarts Legacy. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna spend as many hours as I can on this because I'm a Nintendo fan. I love me some Zelda. Zelda to the death of me, you know what I'm saying? Zelda, Mario, Sonic, all of them. Super, super good fans, big fans. And um, I'm excited just to explore everything, to see everything that this one has to hold. Like I was discovering new things as I did side, more side quests on Breath of the Wild. It's like, man, I didn't know this. I didn't know that. So many cool things. So many. There's greatness in this. Shout out to Nintendo, man. Shout out to the game developers. And if you guys are anything like me, I'm pretty sure you're probably just ready to dive in and just see what this game has to offer. So y'all enjoy it, man. Don't be like me. Don't spend six, seven years playing the game without completing the main story, seeing all the cinematic goodness. Don't wait six, seven years if you can help it. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Let me know, have you beaten the game already? Have you dove in to Tears of the Kingdom already? If you've beaten the game already, the main story and all of that, you got way too much time on your hands. Or maybe you're just a good gamer. And maybe I'm not. But anyway, drop a like, comment, and subscribe, man. I'll talk to y'all later. I'm out of here, y'all be easy. This is Mr. Cheese with the Grits. You've been watching Gaming for Grits, people. I'm about to get my game on. Y'all hold it down. Peace.